Hi, this is Jeff Grittenden. I'm a current teaching pro. I'm a PGA member. I just won the 2017 World Long Drive Masters Division with a 383 yard drive. So today we're going to talk about cause and effect. Basically a fade and a draw. My ball goes right, my ball goes left. Um, everything is controlled by the club face when you swing. If the face is open, the ball goes off to your right for a right hand golfer or a fade. The face comes in closed, ball goes left, draw, hook for a right hand golfer again. So it's all trumped by what the face is doing more than the path. It's always face. So a good drill to do if you fade the ball is, as I said, your face comes in open. So we want to work on getting that face closed. So I want to exaggerate that drill. So when I set up, I'm going to set up normal and I want you to come in with the toe leading. And this is for people who fade the ball. So what I want you to do is do the opposite. If you can figure out, if you're a fader and you figure out how to hook it, you solve most of your problems. You might be hooking it, but if you can do both, you can figure out how to hit it straight. So in a nutshell, I am going to turn my hands so the face is going to be overly closed. Give it a try, five or ten swings on the range and see what happens. If the ball's still going right, guess what? That face is still open in your swing. So you want to try and release that club even sooner in your downswing. And all we're doing here is getting rid of the fade. Because all fades are caused by the face being open at impact. So what we're all trying to do is get it closed for some type of fix on the golf course or right before you go to get it from going right. Good luck. Thank you.